And with us now, Dominic Carter, who is the political anchor of New York One News. And Dominic, I want to say, uh, when we started calling around in uh, New York City last week to find out who would have their finger on this story, um, you were the person who was most often mentioned, and that's why we uh, asked you to be with us this morning. So what do you hear? What do you know? How is this thing going to come out? Well, first of all, good morning, Bob, and thank you for that comment. Uh, from what I hear, uh, I've listened for the last couple of minutes to the back and forth between the members of Congress, Geraldine Far Ferraro and the school's chancellor. But from what I hear, it is basically a done deal that if Caroline Kennedy wants this seat and she has expressed interest in it, then it is hers. I, I should point out, Bob, that uh, last week I had the opportunity to sit down with her for a couple of minutes up in Harlem, and, and the, the Camelot sign are there. You know, we can talk about how private a person she is and so on, you know, uh, running away from the media. But the signs that I saw, um, and this is, it may, it may not be done, but I'm told that it's done. When she walked into this restaurant in Harlem, the crowd gave her basically a standing ovation. And then she sat down for a private event. I saw confidence. I, I saw that she wasn't looking to run. Uh, it had to, to run away from the media. It has been somewhat of a slow rollout of Caroline Kennedy, and I think her folks are taking the heat for that. Well, let's talk a little bit about this other side of the story that I find so interesting. And again, there are so many connections here. Uh, and that is the Andrew Cuomo side, the son of another very famous political family in New York, the son of uh, Mario Cuomo, the former governor, who I would also say was once married to Kerry Kennedy, uh, who was supposed to be on this uh, program this morning uh, beating the drums for Caroline Kennedy. Uh, what about this deal? I'm hearing that he would very much like to have this appointment. And what happens if Governor Patterson does appoint Caroline Kennedy to this seat? Do you think that would increase the possibility that Andrew Cuomo might then turn around and run against Patterson for governor? Perhaps, but that might be a stretch, Bob. Uh, Andrew Cuomo is definitely interested in the job, but the problem is that if he does not get it and Governor Patterson goes with Caroline Kennedy, Andrew Cuomo has been down this road before in terms of trying to run in a primary against an African-American candidate. And, and, and in this case, it would be a sitting governor. So that may not sit too well. He has a future in the Democratic Party, and he may, I emphasize may, may not want to put it on the line to again challenge a, uh, an African-American candidate we didn't play too well the last time around. Well, you know, uh, politicians' first rule is uh, personal survival. And I think that's one of the things that uh, Governor Patterson will obviously have to take into account. The other part of it is Governor Patterson wants somebody on that ticket with him uh, who's going to help him get votes, somebody that can raise money without cutting into his money. Uh, would that be the main reason that you see it, that he would, uh, would appoint Caroline Kennedy, other than the fact that, well, she's qualified or whatever else he would say about her? Uh, I, I don't necessarily see it, Bob, as the major reason. Perhaps on top of that would be the incoming White House of President-elect Barack Obama mm -hmm. wants to see Caroline Kennedy in the Senate. Uh, Senate Majority Leader uh, Harry Reid has expressed support for her going to the Senate. But I'm glad you brought that point up because it is a good one. If Caroline Kennedy is on the ticket, the same ticket in which Charles Schumer runs for re-election in 2010, she brings prestige, she brings the Kennedy name and she brings the ability to raise a lot of money. That's one less problem the Democrats will have to worry about. We're almost out of time here, but what about Hillary Clinton? Will she try to block this? No love lost uh, with the Kennedy family after they endorsed Obama early on. She has told her people to back off. She is moving ahead in terms of becoming Secretary of State. And, you know, for all the criticism we've heard of Caroline Kennedy, we've been there before in terms of hearing the same exact thing about Hillary Clinton, Bob. And happy holidays to you. All right. Thank you very much, Dominic.